Good morning, everybody, and happy Monday. I have not looked at the weather yet. We are quarter after five. Got to get ourselves moving here. Yeah, yeah, yep. And the video is 65% rendered. There's going to be three. There's going to be the vlog, and then there's going to be a driving video on our way up there, and then there's going to be a photo montage video. So just bear with me. I'm going to try to get all of them out today, but I do have an appointment with the car after work. Little king man here. There we go. We shed some light on little guy. And uh, I got to get these guys up and out for a quick little potty break and then crate and then get going here. What an adventure that was yesterday. I <laughs> don't know if the vlog actually gives you the grade that we were actually going up. It's, it's in person. It is just when you're looking at it. It is, there's sections that I think are pretty close to 80 degrees, if not higher. I don't exactly know, but it was, uh, it was treacherous at certain, certain points. Footing was not the best, um, for a good portion of it, but loose gravel. And then you'd have like basically just raw dirt. So, uh, Pokus came in handy and these, uh, Timberlands did a, I felt like did a really good job. I was concerned going down. That I was going to have some problems with uh, jamming my toes, but you hear me tell Tim, go down sideways so you can plant your foot. And uh, for me, that worked really well. So, all right, got to get doggies harnessed up, get us out for a quick little walk, uh, make up a little thing of spaghetti for lunch. Uh, I don't know if there's any sausages for breakfast. I don't think there is. So I don't know what I'm going to have there. You know, I really don't want to have spaghetti for breakfast because that will probably upset my stomach. Anyway, oh, good morning. And when we're on our walk right now, that says 40 degrees. So I'm going to say somewhere around 8 or 9, maybe 10 degrees Celsius. But I'll verify it with the app. All right, we're going to give the app a little love here. It's uh, got it set up to the light and everything, so I might as well use it. I'm just going to put the headlamp on. That way I can check the weather quite tell. But the uh, chef cam actually connected right away this morning. I was kind of shocked because I had lots of issues with it. All right. Yeah, so pocket did it, or the action did really good yesterday. I have had some issues lately with the um, pocket video into Final Cut where everything is black and I have to basically re import everything directly off the files out of the uh, camera. Is doing her business. Let's take a look here with this app. Uh, gonna fire it up fresh this morning. Um, yeah, so Pocket recorded the entire way up. I have the drive footage in to Final Cut, but I didn't put it into the video. I was gonna do it at the end, but then I'm sitting there going, it's an hour and five minute video. So we're just gonna do the hike. We'll do the fall foliage drive to the park at eight times the speed. Uh, hopefully I have enough music to cover that. Uh, that's the biggest problem in my opinion. Um, and of course the app's not loading. Of course the app's not loading. Why would it, why would it load when I need it to? But honestly, the hike itself is not very far. I think we were actually under two miles. Okay, we have 43 degrees and 6 degrees Celsius. So I was way off. So... That is what we are today. And I am wearing my regular fit jeans, so the shift cam does not fit the best in this back pocket. But I hope everybody enjoys yesterday's video. Um, I know someone did comment that there it is on their bucket list to go. I did warn Mike and Andrea that it is uh, not an easy trail, and basically you would drive. So we drove two hours and like four 47 minutes something like that it's weird because the way home actually was faster by about 15 by about 10 minutes which makes no sense because we went the exact same way um they have an extra hour on top of that and to just do the skyway i don't think would be worth it in my opinion but that's you know that's me i don't know uh, if it wasn't for the hike, and it's like we got to the bottom, and it's like, well, you might as well go up and see the other side while you're there. So, this coming weekend, Saturday, I'm off, so we're thinking if the weather is nice, we might go up to the Pennsylvania Grand Canyon. And you remember Terry and I went up with the dogs, and there's the trail on the left side 
that I've never done. Mike said it's pretty much as steep as the other side, so I think we're going to try to do that trail, Tim and I and the dogs. So that'll be uh, this coming Saturday's adventure. Um, and then I think we're going to have to wrap things up a little bit because I'm getting a little expensive on fuel. Uh, that's one thing not going on these adventures has been good, but I went to Harrisburg, Kinsua. Terry and I took the ride up to Shimokin the other day, and then, you know, so if we do that, that should pretty much close off for a little bit. I don't know. Um, short trips maybe, but not two and three hour trips, that is for sure. What you thinking, Blinken? Hmm? You sleepy? Everybody was tuckered out after the hike back up then down up those hills and down those hills. They did an amazing job. Both little dogs did an amazing job. Alright, you guys done? Alright, get around me. Let's go. Considering their their body types, they don't have long legs, and those steps were taller than them on the way down. You know, on the way back. This little guy, he was getting so worn out going back up. And then we did have a little bit of an incident, and it was not Priya's fault. The, the dog was being nice, and Priya was being nice. They were sniffing noses, and all of a sudden the little dog just went berserk on Priya. And, yeah, it turned into a fiasco, and Mateo stepped in to protect his sister. In the process, the green bag I have, it broke. It literally ripped the one thing out, and the zipper snapped off Then when we got in the car. So... That was fun. And I didn't put the microphone on. No, it's not windy. It's because I have the mo mic that's connected to the shift cam. So, <laughs> that was not funny. Um, we got to Sheets, and Tim treated us to hot dogs. The dogs and I, and he got food. And um, I started going berserk, because I'm sitting there going, where's the other microphone? And literally, I mean, we tore the entire car apart, my backpack apart. Everything. We went through every bag. His bag, my bag. Um, freaking out. We got done with that. Gave up. Tim went in, in to use the restroom before we left. And I'm sitting in the car and I just kind of like did one of these. And as I did that, I looked up. I put it on the visor so that when I did the good night, said good night to everybody, that uh, it could pick us both up. And forgot I did that because, you know, I'm a little bit tired. I mean, I was throwing stuff everywhere in the car last night. So it was, uh, it was interesting, but uh, such a, it was like, great. Now I've lost $150 worth of equipment and still haven't found that cover. I still think that cover came off for me before, um, before we even got on the road. I, I, I want to say that it was, uh. But I'm looking in every pair of jeans I, I could have worn that day and trying to find it because <clears throat> I got to buy another one. I got to get him another one. And if I do it on eBay, I'm going to see if PayPal won't let me do like a buy and four type of thing. And I'm going to order three of them because I know it's like 150, but I can, I'll can i try to find the lowest priced one and uh, try to uh, <clears throat> get multiples just in case. I mean... The, I, I think the door was faulty, personally. I keep saying that because it didn't... Uh, this one hasn't even budged since I put the one from the 4 on it. Hasn't budged at all. So I don't think that little clamp thing that was on it was uh, the best. So, come on. You gonna have breakfast? Gonna eat? Come on. Oh, come on, Priya. Come on. Come here. Come here. No? Really? Too many hot dogs lunch today? No? Just gonna stick your nose up at it? You don't want it? You're drooling. Give you a minute here. And you're gonna have to go crate crate. And you're not gonna get anything. No, but Tim understands the uh, the remote portion now more than he did. Because he's like, I don't, I don't, you know, without seeing it, I don't really understand what what the big deal about it is. Well, when you're holding the go, when you're holding, when you're holding the ace, oh my god, when you're holding the action, ten feet in the air, um, trying to look over a hundred and twenty-five foot high bridge, being able to hit record or snap photos, um, makes it very convenient because it's the triggers right there in your hand. So, no, you're not gonna eat. What's wrong? 
Is not feeling it? Alright, that's not good. I'll let mommy know, but she's not going to be happy that you're not feeling good. Alright. You sure? You positive. Alright. We'll put that away. Cray Cray, let's go! Come on, Cray Cray! Cray Cray, let's go! Come on, Bria! Hey, I'll show you the other way. Hey, I'll show you the way. Yeah, it's not too bad out this morning. 43. We only had that one morning that was 35, and it frosted a teeny bit, but, uh... Not too bad. You coming? Yeah? All right. And I gotta finish cleaning off your crates, too. Well, I got most of it. It's gotten laundry put away. All right. Let's see if we can break this one-handed. Oh, I almost gave you Prius. There's yours. You're ex you're interested in that. Why aren't you interested in your dog food? Because it's dog food, Dad. It's not hot dogs. That's the problem. She gets too uh, attached to human food. Okay, get my spare pillow put over there. I still got some socks here. Put them away. I'm bad at putting laundry away. I gotta. I still gotta clean up this room. I got a disaster going on over here. Never, never do bring the big hook. I bought that big hook when Mike and I were doing our adventure so we can hook them to trees and stuff so we can kind of venture back into the woods. I've yet to use it. I think it's massive too. Okay, Sony. I did make some new albums in uh, Apple Photos today of the RX10. 8,862 photos I've taken on that camera since 2020, which, you know, really isn't a lot when you think about it in my realm of 63,000 photos. Um, and I did make another, I did add the rest of the photos to the Pixel one. <clears throat> For some reason, it doesn't actually make an album for some of these cameras. I don't know why. DJI, because you import it into the app, it does put everything that I've ever done from DJI, DG, DJI, <laughs> into a file. But not all of them do that. Let's see where we are right here. I'd like to have this thing uploading before I leave. And uh, I took my coffee cup down. I'm going to make another cup of coffee. Didn't even bother making a pot this morning. Just made... <clears throat> Sorry. Morning. <laughs> Morning congestion. Um, I just did a Keurig and did our Krispy Kremes because we still have hundreds upon hundreds of those K cups left. So let me rinse this out and make a second cup of coffee and I'll be gulping it. So, <clears throat> But yeah, we got a ton. Of, and we still have boxes, cases of these. 24 in a case, and I think we still have, and there's four cases. Four boxes in a case of 24 each box. So, we have coffee for a little bit yet, which is good, because we had almost 900 at one point. And we've, we've cut it down by over half. I know we have. But making pots of coffee, and making sure we put them in the craft, and the Stanley, oh my goodness, that thing... That thing, that coffee was still hot, piping hot when I got home last night and I finished the rest of the uh, the Stanley out. <clears throat> you know, this, for some reason, the Action 5 just came in because of the gimbal situation. It was too, too rough a terrain and sit there and fiddle with the thing, but I was looking at the dogs too much on the way up. I do apologize for that. Um, it's kind of hard when you're walking vertical <laughs> to make sure the camera was facing up, but you got to see a lot of the wreckage. It's, it's crazy. And I'm happy we went all the way to the top because, uh, you can say we did it. I mean, it was, it was just a big part of the adventure. So as I mentioned, after work today, I have an appointment with her car because I told him about the vibration on, on Friday. And uh, of course now they say, oh, maybe, well, maybe it's an axle. Maybe you didn't put a straight wheel on it. Maybe you didn't change the wheel. Maybe you guys just raped me because you don't even know I was there. I'm getting a phone call that I didn't show up for my appointment, which just blows my mind. I'm like, okay. By the way, I didn't change out of 4K60 this morning. I just, I left it in. I was like, you know what? We're just, because I, when I did 30, I had a lot of uh, issues. Someone was saying about the compression rate. I got to check and see if they've done an update. There were sausages in there, so heating myself up to them. Whoa, God, that bag got hot. Put it in a big bag. <laughs> oh well, bag's a bag, right? 
Get that by the door so I can grab it on my way out. Um, yeah, I, th I don't even, I think I'm just going to take this along and uh, I'll grab the microphone though for in the car. Yeah, I'll switch out. Yeah, it was that was not cool. I'm saying, it's got a white dead cat on it. I shouldn't be able to lose it. Sat back in the car and just, you know, did one of these. And as I did this, my eyes hit the visor. I'm like, duh, I remember doing it now. <laughs> but, well, what happened was I got, a, because of the dog incident, it gave me a bloody nose and severe. I got, so right side and then um, left side started bleeding after I got the other one under control. And... Then we took another walk back out, and I took the Sony RX-10 out with us and did some zooming shots of everything with that. So that'll be part of the photo montage. I want to edit those photos before I post them. It's kind of why I've made a Kinzua Bridge photo, photo album. So I can just bring up that album and go through and edit all those photos. Um, with uh, Photoshop Express, I was having a lot of problems with it on the phone yesterday. Yeah, seems to not really like uh, the phone struggles with that app for some reason. Okay, we are at 98% and I got about five minutes to leave. Um, the associate that's working today will come in, but he's like always right on the right on the mark of getting there on time. So where did I put the other... I think it might be in the trunk, because I got the legs for the uh, for the gimbal. Jesus, too much equipment. Too much equipment. Like I said, every camera has its moments. I mean, every camera has its little its little niche. Okay, that's the pockets turned off. Got to clear that out. Like I said, I do have the dry footage already in Final Cut, so that'll be fun. Because like I said, it's like two hours and forty some minute ride. Eight times the speed. I'm not sure what that's going to put us at. I might have to increase it just a little bit more than that, but we'll see. All right. Mic is connected. How I keep track of what mic is what, considering I have three that look identical, is is unbelievable. Mainly when you put them in the case, because this mic is not connected to the receiver anymore, it doesn't light up on the receiver display. So I know which one is is the Action 5. The other two mics are actually for the pocket, which, you know, I may, and then the other one I have set up for the shift cam with the iPhone because it's connected to the receiver. Hey, we're exported. All right, should we all get this uploading? I might wait until I come home to uh, get the thumbnail because I don't know exactly what thumbnail I want to use. Probably an edited photo. So let me get this uploaded and then get on the road and uh, we'll catch you guys in the car. Briefly, I guess. I don't know. All right, boy, I tell you, that little drone light, man, I have the whatchamacallit lights on as well. It is plenty bright enough in here for 60 frames a second. No activity in the backyard last night. The camera never clicked on at all. Not one time. Went through the video this morning and I was like, hmm, that's unusual. So no deer, no bear, no possum, no skunk, no um, raccoon. So, but, yeah, I got myself somehow behind because it's now 10 minutes of got my coffee in a travel mug so I can take it with me this one's got cream and sugar in it I'm gonna do this so I can see clearly there's a car coming that way but he's way back and we are moving windshield is frogging up on me here oh man what a what a day I <laughs> a little after 11 when I got to bed last night uh, I wanted to get the video through. I was on the phone with Tim while I edited through. So, didn't really have to cut a whole lot. Now, Tim did record with the Action 4, but a lot of it ended up being basically duplicate of what I was doing at the same time. So, mainly that footage was for him to play with the Camry last yesterday uh, so he could, you know, see what it was like to use it and get the understanding of why to get a remote. So... Oh, and I'll give him a drone light since I have four of them. I'll, I'll set his handle up with drone light and everything so he's got that. So if he does any low light footage, he, he has it. Um, just <laughs> this thing, now that I put two of those little pads on there, um, yeah, it ain't, it ain't budging. Boy, it's uh, challenging to see this morning when the windshield completely blinds you. 
Alrighty guys, well I will catch you guys probably right after work before we go to the uh, appointment for the car and then let you know what's going on after we go to the appointment. So probably going to take him out on the highway and uh, let him feel the vibration of this bad thing and see if he thinks it's a wheel or what the hell's going on, but keep posted. Alrighty, good afternoon everybody. It is time to go and take her car over. I wish there was a place to put this thing with this handle. There isn't. <laughs> I don't have any sunglasses in this car, so. All right, I'm gonna focus on driving, so I'm not gonna look at you guys. Don't be feeling any weird way. Gotta pay attention to the road out here. Especially the red light when people like to run it and then beep at you because they're running a red light. It was funny, I asked the store manager about, I said, I'm gonna go through here with my camera one time. She, he goes, I don't care. <laughs> he goes, we don't have any policy against it. As long as you're not causing a scene. Oh my God, that car just ran over the gutter. <laughs> she blew a tire doing it too. Right front, blown out. Jesus. Alrighty, making our way down the Crick Road. Boy, I tell you, the sky actually on this screen looks pretty legit. You're gonna pull out in front of me? Oh, okay. And we'll get over here. Oh, but yeah, oh, not a bad morning. Uh, we got everything done basically when the manager wanted it done, so that worked out nicely. But uh, then we had all these signs today, so there's some new stuff out. Uh, got some sort of like French toast bites. We got a lot of them. So I got like three wrap racks of them filled in i got them all out <laughs> i'm learning how to stuff stuff they may not be able to get the bottom ones out too easy because like i said i stuffed them in there good but yeah he's gonna have to take this thing up on the highway and get up to you know 60 65 with this thing or at least 60 because that's about where i run this car that this this car for some reason it takes off really well but it feels like the hot the top speed is you know, you, you've kind of, it feels fast. My car doesn't feel as fast for some reason. We were going, what, 75 yesterday? At some points, not many. Because we were on back roads most of the time, as you'll see in the drive video coming out later today, hopefully. Hopefully the drive video and the photo montage video, they'll be two separate ones. <clears throat> um, they'll be out tonight. So that's my game plan. I think that's how I'm gonna work some of these trips. And we just, we got lucky because I only set the pocket up. And I, I was thinking about that. If I change the, uh, put that other mounting bracket in here and have it set up with that base, I'll be able to switch over and put this on there as well. I don't know if it'll be low enough though on that mount, but this car is very challenging to, I'm not putting a sticky plate in here. She'd get mad at me. So just gonna make do with that. If I have to put an extension down or something. Because when I put the feet on there for it to click into, maybe? No, because there won't be any feet. I don't know. I'll play around with it. But it's supposed to, it's 70 degrees, 21 degrees Celsius out right now. It's supposed to get up to almost 80, I think, today. I just got done putting my shorts away, and I'm like, oh, shorts is over. Maybe not. Alrighty. Coming up on this fun place here. see what kind of pretty Subarus they have in here. It's, it's all older used Subarus, but they did have a Crosstrek in here last time I was here, so. We shall see. Let's see if we can find out what's wrong with this bad boy. Alrighty, rebalanced the wheel. Checked everything around. Nothing is loose, gonna fall off. The wheel, every wheel, he said every wheel's got a little bit of a wobble to it, but it's not out of, you know, it's not, he doesn't know what the other wheel looked like to compare, but it was definitely changed. So I am going to go up and jump on the highway and see what it does to see how it sounds. Wow, that bump threw that thing all the way up over there. Wow, that's crazy. So we'll see how it sounds now. See, that's some of the vibration too. I was seeing it in the pocket, 
pocket hanging from the from the mount and it was just going crazy i'm like how does that thing stay keeping steady steady video and it did <laughs> but it just didn't seem like it should be doing what it was doing so might have been just a tad bit he said it was a tad bit out of balance so maybe this will be enough to you know keep everything done so what he's telling me about the the bush it's not the pins in the brake rotor it's actually the bushings he wants to replace he says if they ever like bored them out sometimes they bore them out too far and the bushings still won't be the fix so i spend thirty dollars and still have it fixed and need a new caliber instead but he wants to start small and work us up yeah so we keep buying stuff from him i don't i don't know how much i like that so oh part of me is thinking since I'm already out to just go to Southside, see if there's any leaves because I don't think I can catch Mateo and just film it quick myself and then get home. So we might just do that. Take a quick little walk at the park, just me and the camera and then go home. And then I don't have to worry about it. Got the windows down. See if I hear anything, or I don't. Ha Since I don't have the pocket up there, I really won't see a vibration. But I, I felt it anyway. So we shall see here. going 70. Yeah, it feels better. It does feel better. Yeah, might have just might have been a little bit out of balance and the fact he said he did get some dirt out of the wheel. So that might have been kind of goofing it up. I don't know. We'll see. And it could be the fact that that tire is choppy is make you know, part of it too. And yeah, we're going 65. That's what I was doing up on the way to, yeah, that's better. Okay, well, vibration solved for now. Now we just have to figure out the rest of the problems with it, but not right now. Oh, I did finally get on eBay and took me four times to make the payment go through. But it ordered three doors for the actions. One to replace the one on Tim's, well, actually on mine, and then two spares, one for each of us. So if he ever loses a door, it's gonna cost him 40 bucks. <laughs> Ooh, the mountain is definitely getting pretty over here. So I think uh, the neighbor that told me that it is getting pretty is right. Not really the way I like doing this handheld thing, but and if a cop sees me, I'll probably get pulled over trying to get a little bit of an angle here because these trees around this corner usually are pretty that one is bare now it was really colorful when we were here last time one back there yeah we're just I don't know if we're gonna do the whole thing just try to rush this real quick I mean, testing the car out on the highway was a good idea, I think. But, and not fighting with Mateo is another great idea. <laughs> a little third. He wants to go, but he doesn't want to leave his mom, so he's very conflicted. <laughs> I get it. Uh, one tr oh, those two trees are pretty red. Definitely have to make our way up this way. Get those up, or, up close. Get some pictures of them, too, with this. Because the photos out of this thing are... I feel pretty good, especially for an action camera. That one there, these guys over here, park in our normal spot, I guess. 
Just trying to get oop top of that one over there. Yeah, okay. All right, we're gonna make use of the extended pole. The top of this one is going as we come around it. And the ones that we're changing, looks like they're pretty red, so we're gonna make a straight shot. I don't know if you can see the jet up there. There's a jet going by. I think he's in the shot. All right, uh, we got these two beauties. Everything else is kind of, the top of that one over there is a little bit, nothing severe. This one has gone completely red now. I think that was the one that we were coming around getting this far side of it. And look at that one. That one is gorgeous. All right, I'm gonna snap some photos of these individually and together, and then we will, I just wanna see how close I can get to this thing in video. Oh, you can get up there pretty good. I have the pole fully extended, but I have it on a probably a 45 degree angle. Maybe about 20 feet away. Not too bad. I've got myself doing way too much here. Okay, so I'm taking pictures with not two cameras, three cameras, because I'm like, why not pull the pixel out? So this side, the leaves are kind of blown back, inverted a little bit here. No, just have to back up just a speck with the wide angle. This side here, it seems like you're getting the color, but uh, they are making some super progress on the uh, township building here, so. Yeah, I was like over halfway back to the car when I was like, why didn't I use the Pixel? So I went back and shot with the Pixel as well. So all three cameras are gonna be included and I've already walked a mile, just walking back and forth. I'm not even doing anything. So yeah, they're making progress here. They got that wing going pretty good now. It's a monstrosity, I'll tell you what. All right, well, those are the three I saw coming in. Upon closer inspection, eh, okay. They might actually look better on video than they do in person. Uh, as I suspected, my tree has already lost its beautifulness. It's mostly barren. But these ones back here are the ones we're going for right now. There's a couple of them in a row here. In fact, the one that I'm aiming at right now, except it's in the shade, so that's kind of hurting it. I don't think I'm going to try to take a picture of that one. I don't know when you'd be able to even get that one, if you would. The other side, maybe, briefly. As we come around here, maybe. I have to kind of get myself a little bit away. You get him? Oh, not too much. Eh, see, the le again, the wind. The wind is inverting the leaves over here. And all the colors on the other side. This one here is kind of going yellow on this side and bright red on the other side. So we'll make our way out into the field here. There we go. There's one of them. And this was the other one. Get back a little. Uh, I'll take pictures on my way back in. There they are. Let me make this way a little bit. Just trying to find the best spot. I am shooting photos with the, like I said, all three cameras. Anyway. Alrighty, I think I got all the shots. It's funny because I have to stand, in order to get both trees, is where I have to stand to get each individual tree with the phones. I don't think I did the two together, but the phones. Uh, Alright, go way back to the car and go home and get out of these sweaty clothes now because like I said, it's getting warm out. And uh, yeah, I'm making it. Really putting piping in or something in. Ready to run an electric. Pretty cool. It's coming together. Uh, I suppose I'll shoot these trees. They're kind of, they're not the prettiest in the world, but. And actually, I said three, but there's actually four trees over here that I was getting pictures. <laughs> now that's a line of six right now. You know, considering how many trees are over here, it's not really a lot changed yet. You got some color, but, and if the mountain, if the sun was on the other side, the mountain would be, but the sun is like right here. So he's like right over top of the mountain. It's lighting it. But if it was coming from the direction I'm at, it would probably make it look a lot cooler. But you can tell there is some color up there. 
There's another one over here. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's even prettier on this side. Oh, tiny little guy. All right, I'm not gonna take pictures of him right now. All right, now we're gonna go home. Oh, I'm happy the vibration is for the most part subsided. Well, hello, Mr. Squirrel. He's like, hey, don't put me on YouTube. What you doing, buddy? What you doing? Hi. Hi. I don't have any nuts. I'm sorry. He's like, oh, come on, dude. What are you talking to me for? Feed me or don't speak to me. Ooh, batteries. What? What? Oh. Okay, so the Action 5 got the update today. Someone had mentioned about bitrate. And apparently this is part of the update as well as some other issues. What, what kind of noises are you making, dude? Guess we should turn the mic on. Wrong one. There we go. Alrighty, so the Action 5 has been updated to the new firmware, which is one of the things is the new bitrate. So I have to wait and see when I switch over because I did mention back when I got the camera that I have like nine hours and 28 minutes on both the pocket three and the action four. I have over 13 hours of record time on a 512 gigabyte card on the action five because they try to make the bit rate lower to try to save space. But people complain so much about it that they have now fixed it. So we're going to test this out on a little puppy walk. But first, do we want to have dinner first or do we want to have do we want to have dinner first or do we want to walk first? <coughs> this pretty baby girl. He's my basset hound. He's such a petite little girl. What do you think, little dude? Do you want to eat? Do you want to have dinner? Really? I'm saying the dinner word and you're not getting up? Wow, you must be tuckered from yesterday. Oh, and yeah, I caught him right away. I gave her a little bit of food, she stuck her nose up at it. When I feed her, she sticks her nose up at it. But when mommy feeds her, she eats right away. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I broke my screen protector. The cheap one. So, I'm gonna put the zag on eventually, I just haven't done it yet. Same place every time, right next to the volume, the uh, lock key. I don't know how I do it, but I managed to. Drive video is exporting, it is like 80... No, oh, it's 100%. All right, I'm gonna get this uploading and then I'll feed them. This thing wasn't so loud. Jeez, Tim could hear me when I was hitting record up the hill. I want to do some low light testing because apparently this has been improved as well. Granted, it's not dark outside. It's still light out. Sun is shining. And... But we're going to have a little more video tonight. Yeah. And then we're going to call it quits because Daddy's got to edit two more videos. All right, so for those of you wondering how long the remote lasts, I did not charge it last night, and I'm at 25% after everything I've done today, which at this point I feel like is a lot for a regular day. Come on! Let's go! Let's get a puppy walk in and see how this camera hands up, holds up. Um, yeah, so like I mentioned, tomorrow night, hopefully cl clear skies. When Tim gets off work, meet up uh, the Hiawatha, I gotta uh, unlock the um, one iPhone that I have because he wants to test it out. But it requires Face ID for everything we want to do, and uh, he's got to get himself set up in it. So it's kind of an issue. Oh, Ruby's out. The Ruby's out. Priya, that's a nut. Ruby. It's another doggy. Okay, yeah. yeah, this thing's auto turning on, turning off now. Hey, you Ruby. Daisy girl, what you doing, big girl? What you doing? Your buddy Mateo coming to say hi to you. <laughs> hi, 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 big girl. Oh, hi. She says, Nope, I see that cat. <laughs> She is absent. She's like, I'm going to come over with you. You're safer than her. <laughs> Lupin, that's not nice. Come here, 
Yeah. You're at the end of your leash there, kid. <laughs> Why are you so scared? I don't know either. What? You talking to me? Are you talking? Are you talking to me? Oh, no. You're talking to everybody. What was that? She's ve she talks. I like it. She barks. She talks. You should hear when my son gets her going. All right, we got to see the ruby. Mateo's okay with it. Priya doesn't like Lupin or Ruby. <laughs> it's just, oh my God. And Lupin's gonna probably follow us on this walk and Priya's not gonna like that at all. Ooh, we're gonna go down this side cause I see some prettiness going on here. All right, so I guess we're gonna have to test this thing uh, tomorrow. I don't really plan on staying up and doing any low light footage with this tonight, but tomorrow morning we can. I just got done watching tomorrow Gary Bullo's video on the update. And uh, apparently they did something with super low loan, super light mode or whatever they call it. And she's like, oh. and honestly, I think the old version was less shaky than the new because it was supposed to correct the um, stabilization in low light too. I didn't, I didn't think it worked that well personally, but we shall see. Honestly, honestly with my camera, the only, it was that one time I saw, that was our tire tracks we're here for. Um, that there was a really glitchy mess. Uh, and I forget what mode I was in. I think I was in 30 that day. So I just leave it in 60. If it's a little darker, but yet less grainy, so be it. That's the way we're gonna do it. But, oh yes. So I, got, I gotta get the uh, all the photos together from the park for the outro. Well, not for the outro, but for the photo montage for the end of today's video. I still got to do the photo montage from yesterday's video. That sunset is gorgeous, which means Mr. Uh, Comet should be going through here in the next um, hour and 17 minutes ish or so. I don't think I'm going out again tonight for it, honestly. I did finally get it with the pixel on a four minute shot. So multiple times. Actually, no, the ones I zoomed in on were actually from the iPhone handheld for like a six second shot. That's the crazy thing. It's like, it doesn't really take a lot to get it, but the Pixel, if it doesn't use its full four minutes, the photos are just nothing but just mush. It's, it sucks. But then when I took pictures today, Tim's like, they look better. She's trying to go down through that spot. We can't go down through there. That'd be illegal. We'd be trespassing, Priya. Um, so... He said the Pixel's pictures look better than the iPhone. I didn't get a chance to send him the Action 5s yet. So i got to figure out which one's which and uh, send him the Action 5 photos yet. But, well, the phone hadn't updated because I, I sent everything to myself too. Can you please pass me? You're burning my leg. Thank you, you wily basset hound. All righty. Well, see how this all looks. And uh, tomorrow morning we'll be able to test low light. I'll get the remote charged tonight. So that's pretty good considering it was on for a couple hours yesterday and then it's been used all day today and it still has battery life. So the remote does hold up pretty good. I mean, it, Grid has GPS, so that's a little bit of a drain and, uh, you know, remote controls the camera. So two days worth out of it. That's pretty fair. I mean, yesterday was an extreme, so I'd say you'd probably get three, maybe four days out of the battery on the remote. Alrighty, I am gonna call tonight, finish up our little walk, because I think we're just gonna go back up to the house after this, because Mateo did a boom boom in the backyard. That's open, so they can't go over there. And I will catch you guys in the morning. Thanks for watching. Have a good night, stay safe.